Hi there. Welcome back to Cow Comfort and Band Design with your host, Emma Wangare. In the previous lesson, we learned about proper band design and the general dimensions. Therefore, today, we get to have a close-up look in, at other areas like cubicles, floor, roof, and the feeding space. The cubicles are among the most important parts of the band. Therefore, we have to get it right. Since we are designing for a cow, we need to know her general dimensions for it to be the best design for her. The overall length of the cow is about 2.5 meters, which becomes the length of the cubicle. Her shoulder height is about 1.2 meters, which becomes the necrail position at both the cubicle and the feed alley, which is to my right here. The distance between the brisket and the floor is about 45 centimeters. And this dimension helps us to know how high the stubble at the feed trough should be, which is also to my right. The final dimension is shown by a cow lying down and her body covers about 1.2 meters in width. This also helps us to know how wide the cubicle should be. The cubicle has various components or various parts. This ensures that it functions properly, which are First, it's the bedding. Second, the cubicle divider itself, the brisket locator, the neck rail, and the cab. As for the bedding, I mentioned the appropriate materials in lesson one. The second item is the cubicle divider designs. The image on your screen shows various designs and whichever you choose depends on you. The main function of dividers is to separate sleeping quarters which enables you to fit more cows in a smaller area in comparison to loose housing, which is a, generally a resting area without cubicles. Loose housing is the best for heifers and yearlings. The cubicle dimensions are indicated on the drawing provided, and the effective height of the divider is about 1.2 meters, which is the general height of a Frisian cow. At the feed area, the positioning of the neck rail is very important because when it's too low it could cause injury and when it's too high it defeats the purpose. Please note that the neck rail is placed at an offset distance of about 20 centimeters. This allows the cows to access feed without obstruction but when she wants to venture too far then the neck rail becomes a regulator on how far she can go. Moving on to the floor it should always be dry and offer good grip for safe movement of cows and personnel within the barn. The most common floor type is good old concrete. This floor type should have grooves to ensure good grip. You can opt for diamond or straight grooves of about 25 millimeters in diameter. Another floor type is precast concrete blocks, commonly referred to as Cabro here in Kenya, and it's been gaining popularity. They offer good grip and they're easy to install. Maintenance is on the low as well. And whenever a section gets damaged, all you need to do is remove it and replace it with new ones. Another floor type is natural stone flooring with concrete sand mortar to hold the joints together. The only shortcoming I have observed with this type of floor, it tends to be a bit slippery when it's wet, and especially when there's a lot of manure. But otherwise, it works well for us in Kenya. The floor on your barn requires a slope of about 2%, which will provide drainage at all times. When it comes to the roof, it functions as a basic climate control element, both in hot days and rainy days. Some cows have been found to be most comfortable between temperatures of uh, up to 20 degrees Celsius. In temperate regions like Kenya, a proper roof should have full coverage of your barn and the best height for your roof is about three meters and above at the eaves or essentially the lowest part of your roof. This will ensure good ventilation as long as the sides of the barn are open. Good ventilation also helps the cows in cooling their bodies 
as well as drying the floor, as I mentioned in lesson one. Another important feature of the roof is a water harvesting system for use in and around the dairy. Let's have a recap of today's lesson. We have learned the appropriate design and the basic dimensions of cubicles that will ensure work efficiency and cow comfort. Thank you for watching. It was wonderful to have you here.